What is up guys, welcome to Sony Gaming. If you want to help support the channel, go ahead and hit those like and subscribe buttons and leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Today we're going to be checking out the Sundered Monarch, a challenging boss from the Lords of the Fallen. This is the final boss of the game, not counting those that are dependent on which ending you choose to progress towards. The first thing to note is that with the most recent patch that came into Lords of the Fallen, the Sundered Monarch has been buffed. That's fine though, because this video will walk you through exactly how to beat him actually incredibly easily. So preparation. If you're at the beginning of your game, I strongly recommend rescuing the tortured prisoner from the catacombs of Skyrest. There are a bunch of guides online that will walk you through that. Follow her questline and she will grant you a powerful tool that is designed to be used for this fight. That tool is the Elegant Perfume. You can use this once per rest and it functions as a stun against the Sundered Monarch, rendering him completely vulnerable for a very long period of time. If you have the firepower, it is entirely possible to kill him in this window, but you will at least get a huge head start on him. So let's take a look at the boss. After you've hit him a couple of times, the fight will start and this hulking figure uses the head of his wife's statue to swipe and slam with slow, powerful attacks that are relatively easy to avoid. Stick to his right hand side and strafe around him to easily avoid most of his attacks. The boss may raise a stone head into the air or jump to perform a downward slam that creates a powerful shockwave in a wide area. Get out of range or dodge at the last moment, then take an opportunity to punish him. Be warned that these attacks can create a circle of fire that hits hard and covers the whole arena. Dodge that part. If the Sundered Monarch is pulling at his shoulder, he is about to swiftly throw a flurry of flaming swords at you, which hurt more than you would think. Dodge backwards or forwards at the very last moment. When the Sundered Monarch rises into the air, he is about to create a huge shockwave outwards that must be dodged, sometimes followed by a circle of fire on the floor that will cover the whole arena, requiring a second dodge. When the Sundered Monarch has reached half health, he will be empowered with fire. Many of his attacks will gain an extension of flame daggers around the area of impact, and his attacking arm now has spikes on it, making it harder to avoid his attacks beneath him. The stand-up melee attacks now come in a frenzied combo of swift, sweeping, spinning attacks that deal huge damage. This addition to his move pool was one of the things added with the latest patch to make this boss more challenging and is usually followed by an area slam. The Sundered Monarch can charge at you with his boulder raised forward or run at you and swing it round followed by an explosive slam. This can both be challenging to avoid, but dodging sidewards and then again for the slam at the last moment will do the trick. If the Sundered Monarch starts waving his hand around in the air, many flaming swords will start to fill the arena. This will either be from the outward moving in with a gap near to the boss, or from the inside moving out with a gap at the edge of the arena. Similarly, the boss can channel an attack that causes many swords to fly upwards, which will then land at your location periodically for an extended period of time, forcing you to keep moving. When the Sundered Monarch only has a couple of hits left of his health bar, he will calm down. The fire will disappear and he will stop attacking you. Now he will crawl towards the statue of his beloved, slowly losing health until he dies. If he makes it to the statue, he will cry at it, awaiting the final blow. Yes, it's all very sad. Anywho, we can pick up his remembrance now for some new powerful items that can be used in New Game Plus and move on to our ending of choice. If you want to check out this fight in action, then just keep watching. I've included a clip of the full fight so that you can see how it's done.
Thanks very much guys, if you enjoyed the video don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons and leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Take care and as always, have fun!